Now, ladies and gentlemen, may I invite Mr. Ivan Tan, Director of Trade and Business Services Division Enterprise Singapore, to the, the government agency championing enterprise development to deliver the welcome address. His division is responsible for promoting Singapore as a trading hub and helping Singapore-based companies in the wholesale trade and business services sector to grow and internationalize. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm welcome to Mr. Ivan Tan, please. Mr. Martin Huxley, Chairman Singapore Bullion Market Association. Mr. Tim Gardiner, Founding Chairman SBMA. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Welcome to Singapore and to the third edition of the Asia-Pacific Precious Matters Conference. The APPMC is organized by SBMA and supported by Enterprise Singapore. This conference aims to galvanize both regional and global precious metals players to assess the regional market from Singapore. It also positions Singapore as the region's outlet, the global gold hubs. This year's APPMC features 19 exhibition booths by 17 organizations with new features such as a Kilobar Pavilion where 10 companies are displaying both LPMA accredited and non-accredited bars, as well as a workshop organized by the Shanghai Go Exchange. I'm pleased to note that registered attendance has increased from last year to over 400 delegates, with even more delegates flying in for, for meetings and events at the sideline of this conference. These are strong indicators that Singapore has become a vibrant, precious metals marketplace for global participants. As the share of global commodity production and consumption rises in Asia, more commodities are being traded in the Asian time zone. This is no different for the precious metals sector, especially when central banks in the East are stepping up their purchases of gold. China and India continue to be the largest market for gold consumption while Southeast Asia possess some of the largest gold reserves, such as those in Indonesia and the Philippines. Centrally located between mineral-rich countries and major demand centers, Singapore is well positioned to continue to facilitate such international trade flows. Singapore's precious metal sector has grown significantly since the lifting of the Goods and Services Tax, or GST, on investment-grade precious metal in 2012. According to SBMA survey, the volume of gold traded out of Singapore in 2017 totaled over 1,600 tons. This represents a compounded annual growth rate of 24% since the lifting of GST in 2012. This is particularly encouraging when set against the backdrop of a subdued gold market in 2017 when the matter was traded within a narrow range for most of the year. Singapore is today the largest hub for commodities in Asia, but there's still much we need to do to remain relevant and competitive. Today, I'll touch on three areas. The first is that Singapore will enhance our financial and risk management infrastructure. Companies can continue to raise equity and debt to support their growth in Asia and Singapore. We now have three gold mining companies on the Singapore Exchange. These are CNMC Gold Mine, Wilton Resources and Anchor Resources. We hope to attract more gold mining companies to tap on our capital market and our debt market. Besides this, alternative financiers and innovative forms of financing such as stream financing will add to financing options here. We continue to want to work with the industry to attract alternative financiers to Singapore. In the risk management area, the precious stones and precious Matter Act was passed this year to establish a regulatory regime to strengthen safeguards against money laundering and terrorism financing risks. This will help to raise AML standards and increase trust in the sector. In the second area, which is in digitalization and innovation, Singapore will continue to strengthen our innovation ecosystem. We are already seeing more forward-looking companies capitalizing on Singapore's innovation ecosystem to form meaningful partnerships. One example is homegrown bullion dealer, 
Gold Silver Central. They have formed a partnership with blockchain technology copper Nickel Gold to create a blockchain-enabled application to tokenize, value, value and trade your gold. Another example is Digix. It's established in Singapore in 2014, and it was the world's first smart asset company having created a stable coin backed by physical gold. Their participating custodian board, the Safe House, is also established in Singapore. We will work with the industry to encourage more innovation and innovative companies to establish their presence in Singapore to support the precious metals trading sector. Thirdly, Singapore will continue to develop our future-ready talent. We have been collaborating with tertiary institutions to grow the talent pool in trade and digitalization. In fact, both the International Trading Program by the Nanyang Technological University and the International Trading Institute at the Singapore Management University have added data analytics to their courses. DSPMA also held a workshop on artificial intelligence in algorithmic algorithm trading last year as they recognize the importance in grooming talent for the next generation of the precious metal sector. As we work towards growing a stronger trading hub, and I encourage the industry leaders uh, to consider growing your business from Singapore and to work with Enterprise Singapore. Take advantage of our financial and risk management infrastructure, develop your digitalization and innovation capability, and tap into our talent and human capital. In closing, I would like to congratulate SBMA in particular, Mr., uh, the Chairman Mr. Martin Hartsley and CEO Albert Cheng on putting together another successful APPMC. I also want to thank SBMA for working so closely with Enterprise Singapore to grow the pressure trading uh, matter sector in Singapore. To all the delegates, I'm confident that you will walk away with valuable insights and fresh ideas from our panelists and industry experts. I wish all of you a productive conference and a wonderful day ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Ivan Tan. Thank you. 